you're no stranger to television. What has it been like working for a streaming platform with DSL Access? You know, it's like you get asked that question, but it's been really great. You know, I, I, I love network, but it's been nice to step out of network and do something different. And um, you know, I've been around for a while, and, and it's all about doing something different. And, and I like that. And this story, what's great about Tell Me a Story is it's, I get to do something different, but I actually get to go into my roots a little bit and deconstruct in a way in which I did in the very first start of my career. So I sort of feel like, you know, I get to sort of, I sit, I, I get to sort of uh, do what I love to do, but at the same time do something new. Best of both worlds. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the project. What was it that brought you in? Well, Aaron Kaplan had this format. It's a Spanish format that was, uh, I think, first aired in Argentina. And it was um, a sort of a modern day retelling of all the fairy tales, it's sort of an anthology. And what I've done, and what me and the writers did here in adapting it, is we took three fairy tales, and we're going to tell them over ten episodes as a serialized drama. And so what what it, what starts as Hansel and Gretel, Little Red Riding Hood, and the Three Little Pigs, and that's just three separate stories. They start to bump into each other as you move forward, and then they start to overlap, and then they start to intersect, and then. And they all sort of build to our 10th episode. And what I do love about this, about non-network, is we end the story. We all ten, all the fairy tales end, and then next season we'll launch into three more. And that's what I do love about it. It's 10 episodes, there's no filler. You tell the story that needs to be told, and it ends. And that's what's great. You don't have to drag it out right here.